All right, welcome back. Um, in the last video, we figured out what the degree of curvature was, and in this part, we're going to figure out where where the point of intersection is located on this curve. So, on this, you know, I'm gonna let me redraw let me redraw this diagram uh, down here. So we have this railway. Oh, it's not drawing this railway curve, and the BC is here, the EC is here. This is the BC, this is the EC. We want to figure out where the point of intersection is located. And remember, the point of intersection is where the two tangents for the BC and the EC um, intersect. So this is the T distance um, from BC, and this is the tangent distance from um, EC. And the point where these tangents intersect is called the point of intersection, right? And in our parameters, we're actually given EC is uh, EC is located at 28 plus 32.023 feet, right? And remember, when we find the point of intersection, uh, this distance, these two distances are equal. They're called T, right? We can't just subtract um, T from EC to get PI. We need to start at EC, figure out what the length is, subtract the length from EC to come over here to BC. Then to BC, we have to add the distance T to get to PI. So let's do that. This is the length L. And we don't know what L is, so but we do have a formula for that. Length is equal to 2 pi r delta over 360, right? We know what the radius is. We figured it out in the last video. And we know what the interior angle is. So we can plug in those two values to get r. I'm sorry, to get l. So this is equal to 2 pi. The radius is 1432.69. Um, and the interior angle is 255341. And all of this is divided by 360. And if you do the math, um, multiply all this out, divided by 360, you get the length, length, so the distance from BC to EC along the curve is equal to 647.502 feet. Right? So, to get BC, we need to subtract L from EC. So BC, the station for BC, is equal to the end of curve minus L. And the end of curve, remember, is 2832.023. You subtract 647.502 feet from that. And you should get, let's see, 21 plus 84.521. This is the station for um, the beginning of curve, right? Now, to the beginning of curve, we need to add the distance t to figure out what the station of the pi is. Now, we don't know what t is, but we have a formula for that. t is equal to r tan of delta over 2, right? So, we know what the radius is and we know what the interior angle is. Plug those values in and we can figure out what t is. Remember, our r is 1432.2. 6, 9, um, tangent of our interior angle, which was 25, 53, 41. Uh, divide that by 2. And if you solve this out, you should get 329.3766. Okay? So this is the distance t. Now, to get the station for the pi, we need to add we need to add t to bc and that gives us our station for pi so uh, point of intersection is equal to the beginning of curve plus the tangent distance right and we just figured out what t is uh, we also figured out what bc is uh, we can add those two values together bc was 2184. 
3.521 plus um, 329.376. Uh, we add those two values together, we get 25, 13.897 feet. Okay, so the station for PI is located at 25 plus 13.897 feet. Alright, great. Now you guys are ready to design a railway track. Good luck.